Hey guys, it's me, Peter Elvis. My first appearance is your Katie Dupas. Once thank you guys for this cool awesome video. This video is part of a series called socialmedia.edu. Basically, we give you guys tips and tricks and numerous different things about social media. So let's get right into it. So this video is going to be surrounding YouTube once again. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about YouTube channels and the idea of, of, of a subscriber becoming a subscriber to your channel or viewing your content. Because this is very important because it's not, you know... It's not something that a lot of people get at first or understand. So let me let me just take this from the view of you first being the subscriber or being the viewer. Okay, what you're doing is you're going on your phone. And you're like, oh, okay, you know, I have some free time. You know, what should I do, right? You have how much other free time? Let's just say you have a half an hour free time, right? This half an hour, you're never going to get it back in life. This is going to be your only half an hour of break time that's going to exist like this for your entire life. So... What do you do? Well, you've decided to go on to YouTube. So whose YouTube channel, whose channel, whose videos, whose content do you devote your half an hour to? That one half an hour that you're never going to get back. What do you devote it to? 99% I am positive that you are committing to watching a video of a YouTuber that you support, of a YouTuber that has a story, of a YouTuber that has passion, and a YouTuber that is being themselves. Now, Think of this as the creator. Why are people coming to you or why are people going to watch your videos? Why are they going to subscribe to you? Why are they going to watch their videos? And this is something a lot of creators have to ask themselves because when we look at YouTube, we're looking, you know, a lot of people look at numbers. Numbers, just get rid of the subscriber numbers and understand that each of those numbers, each of those numbers is an individual person who decided to subscribe to you to view your content and to take time out of their lives that they're never going to get back. Now, why is that? Why would someone do that? Why do they do that? Because either we'll take it from the standpoint of if they are subscribing to you. If they're subscribing to you, that means you have passion. That means you have a story. That means you have some content that they're following that they enjoy. Um... There's all sorts of these different types of feelings. And if you're not receiving subscribers and you're not receiving views, think of it like this. What story are you telling your subscribers or to your viewers? What content are you putting out there? Is, are you passionate about it or not? Um, you know, are, are you being creative or not? I mean, are you being yourself or not? I mean, because these are really qualities that uh, both YouTubers and the viewers should strive for because you know the viewer is coming to to youtube and going to a platform and subscribed to a channel they make commitment you know until they decide to break it off that they want to know when your content comes out for instance or they want to know you know when m recent videos come out or whatever it is you know they want to know because they're following you for a reason because they there's a story there's a passion there's a character there's something in that particular channel that is driving them and letting them commit themselves to those times, for instance, that half an hour that you have to devote your time to a video, uh, you know, that you're committing to it because you're never getting it back. You're never getting the, the half an hour back. It's, it's going to be this time and this is what you're going to do and that's it. You can't go back and rewrite it. So ultimately... Uh, I think this I think this is like when a lot of like YouTubers and viewers, um, you know, really forget this type of ideas that when, you know, you are ultimately, you know, taking a part of your life and devoting it to someone else's. And the, re and the reason why we do that is because we're devoting it towards a story. We're devoting it towards a passion, an idea, a character, a video of whatever it is, whatever you're passionate about, music, TV, cooking, cleaning, whatever it is, I don't care what it is, but we really need to look at, um, you know, creators being themselves, telling stories and being passionate and viewers really understanding, you know, what is something that I'm going to commit my time to? And what is something I'm not going to commit my time to? Because, you know, obviously you have a passion, you have some sort of a, of a liking or, you know, uh, creativity or whatever it is that you like to do. And of course, you're going to look on search out for those channels. You're going to see, well, what is the person that I connect to? And that's what viewers do. Viewers like me, who I love art, right? So I love to reach out and subscribe to channels that are, 
you know, talking about art or being artistic or being creative, or there's actually a few animators before I lost my vision that I still follow because of the fun stories that they create. Although I'm not able to see the visuals of the animations, I know who they are and they connect, you know, I connect with them and they're funny and they're educating and it's really fun. So <clears throat> what I'm saying guys here is if you're a creator, make sure you're passionate, make sure you're telling a story, make sure that you are being you, because if you're not being you and you're not telling a story and you're not passionate, you're going to fail. Because trust me, YouTube is an investment. And if you don't put time and effort and passion and your creativity and putting who you are into it, you're going to fail. Unfortunately, you're going to fail because if you don't have any of those in the particular realm of YouTube, you're looking at numbers, you're thinking of when is my next subscriber going to be coming? And it's just, it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So, um, and if you're a viewer, you know, think about it. You have a, you know, if you have a half an hour, a break or 15 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, you're committing your life to a particular YouTuber. Look for quality. Look for YouTubers that have a story. Look for YouTubers that connect to you. Look for YouTubers that have your same passions, your same creativity. You know, that's ultimately what gets subscribers and that's ultimately what gets views and that's ultimately what builds a community around values and around ideas and creativity. So that is basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, favorite, or share the video. That would be fantastic. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. Some more content coming out. I still want you to miss it. Otherwise, remember the perseverance is your key to the impossible. And I'll see you guys in future social media.edu videos.